So where do we start? Well, firstly, we started off by giving the uh, senior management a value stream awareness day. This was to obtain buy-in. And we employed the uh, services of Mark Norton, who's here tonight. Put your hand up, Mark. <laughs> um, Mark is a good friend and a business improvement specialist in this field. Um, this was to give a full, uh, clear, detailed description of what Value Stream is all about, how it works, and the benefits. What the benefits are. Mark was also involved in um, Spirit's uh, lean introduction in 2010 and he comes highly recommended. Like most days, I wake up and uh, want to make a cup of tea. And this was one of the exercises uh, we'd done on paper. The idea of the exercise was to reduce the amount of uh, movement and improve on the non-value added time that it takes to make a cuppa, thus creating a better cellular flow. Also, there are many different types of mapping techniques that we could have chosen from, like uh, process mapping, handoff charts, spaghetti diagrams, but we chose a hybrid of the traditional value stream map under the Mark's guidance. Once we um, obtained the buy-in, um, which we did, obviously we wouldn't be standing here now, um, our first port of call was the sales department five months ago. We wanted to reduce the amount of time taken processing orders into production areas. We gave them the same um, awareness training as the senior management team, and then we moved on to the following. The first step was done over two sessions where we mapped the current state map. We captured the ideas that anybody had, um, identified any quick wins or, car or Kaizen bursts. Um, then we moved on to step two and step three, which was split over a third and a fourth session. Uh, and we agreed the uh, future state vision and we mapped the ideal future state process. We then went on to step four, where we, de where we um, developed the action plans to make the uh, future state value stream the current state value stream. And then finally on to step five, where we implemented the future state process. Now, as you can see, it's highlighted in red there. Um, we haven't actually got to that stage as, set, as yet. That's why we highlighted it in red. Now, I'd just like to uh, show you um, how we take action plans and implement, implement them into project plans. Here we have a value stream triangle that it's, um, was devised uh, by myself uh, based on the value stream uh, principles which we covered in the last slide. This gives you uh, a nice visual of the process steps that we do in value streaming. Here is an example of the future state action plan. Um, it gives you the project number, the date it was raised, uh, the projects themselves, the target date, and the status of completion. And finally, uh, the project sheet, which gives us our project team, our current issues and problems, what we want to achieve, and how we measure the changes. Now, to get a true understanding of how large these maps are, I've brought an example along to show you tonight. As you can see, you need a big wall. <laughs> um, I just want to go through a couple of um, what the shapes and the colours are uh, a reference to. Um, at the end of this area here, there's a start point. <laughs> and it's depicted, by, it's depicted by the green area over where Martin is. And that's the start and the finishing points. The, um, the actual yellow... Uh, Post-it notes are the actual process steps we actually do. And if you squint a little bit, you can see that we've got um, the minimum and the maximum time it actually takes to do each step. And the diamonds are the questioning um, steps. Thank you, Steve. Um, which gives you the yes and no's uh, <laughs> answers for that. Um, as you can see, there's a, a sheet of paper there. It gives you the... the um, thank you, Steve which gives you the non-value-added steps, the value-added steps, and the necessary non-value-added steps, um, which, was, which are uh, got indi indicated by different colours. Here is a photo of the first session that we did. Um, the value stream was done on the sales order loading process. When you do um, value streams, it is very important to um, get the whole team's uh, participation and input. After all, they are the experts in their field. 
And this is the sales um, value stream on completion. And as you can see, our Becky getting involved in writing on one of the post-it notes. Um, she is one of the guys that uh, deals with the incoming orders, uh, which is highlighted as a which was highlighted as an improvement project. We then moved on to the engineering department. And you can see where Mark and Martin are completing their current state map. This was done on the top line engineering process. And finally, the completion of the future state value stream. Which brings us on to the future. So what are we going to be doing in the future? Well, firstly, we're going to be continuing with value stream sessions in the engineering and the sales department until the end of the year, and then we're going to take this value stream into production areas of the business in 2012. We'll also continue to improve on our processes by introducing more lean practices and uh, methodologies into spirit circuits. But please remember, the point of value stream mapping is not about creating the maps. It's to really understand what the flow of information and material, then you understand to improve that business. Also, the key to success is that you must uh, have buy-in. And this is from director level down to, the, down to the shop floor. And lucky enough at Spirit Circuits, we have this in abundance, which makes my job an awful lot easier. If you don't have buy-in at all levels, then you will quite simply struggle and possibly fail in your lean approach. Which brings me on to my final thoughts. Value Stream only works if you have committed and engaged people to generate the desired results, and that takes Teamwork. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.